Hi, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to give you my opinion on some of the major ASO tools out there. Okay, so today I want to answer a question from uh, Bastawa a few days ago. Uh, he said, uh, nice, can you do it a video about Sensor Tower, App Annie, and other services like that. Are they still relevant these days? Thanks. So, Sensor, so there, it, in the ASO world, there's a few tools that everybody uses, uh, and there's, there's a lot more that not so many people use, but the, one of the big ones is Sensor Tower. Another one is Mobile Action, mobileaction.co, you know, and then there's App Annie, and there's other tools too. So what I'm gonna do today is just give you just give you my opinions of these tools, right? And it's my opinion might be different than everybody else's, and I th I'm pretty sure that my opinion is different than everybody else's. So, to, so, so just I'm putting that out there, right? I don't, I'm not a big fan of a lot of these tools, and I know other people who are in the ASO space are like they swear by them. They're they're fantastic. They're great, but I haven't got a lot of use out of them. And and you know, and so many people have said so many good things about them, and I start to think. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe I'm just, you know, I, I'm not using them properly and all that kind of stuff. But what we'll do is, what I want to do today is kind of go through some of these tools and just give, give my opinion of them. But, you know, I, I encourage all of you to try them. Now, right now, I'm, I'm on the free tier for all of these uh, services. And I, I have been on the paid tier before, right? I don't have any problem. I, I don't pro have a problem paying, you know, $100 a month or $200 a month or something if I get the benefit back. But every time I have paid the, you know, for these full services, I just haven't got got results from it. And again, it could just be because, you know, because I find documentation to be lacking. I find you know difficult to learn these kind of things. Uh, and you know, it, it could just be me. So anyway, have a look at my screen here. You know, the first one. Let's talk about Sensor Tower. Now, Sensor Tower is the the big one. Like, I've heard about Sensor Tower for years. Right? I've 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 done the um, the eighty dollar eighty dollar a month uh, tier, which is like five apps. Yeah, you know, I have I have over a hundred apps, so you have to choose which ones you want to go with. And it's one of these tools that um, again, like everybody talks about how great it is. And you, I'm I'm kind of a, it's almost like I didn't want to talk about it because there's obviously you know, everybody swears by it, so it's obviously something that I just don't get right. So if I go and I just I. My biggest problem is I find it complicated. I find the interface complicated. Navigating around is complicated. Uh, every time I click on something, I'm, I'm obviously on the wrong pricing tier, so I have to do something else. But so right now, just so you know, I'm on the free tier. So I expect to see a lot of pop-ups saying you need to upgrade. So you know, uh, you know, you got the menu up here, which I find you know complicated. But you also have all of these tools, and you know. This is in mobile actions kind of similar. So you can see like the App Store rankings, the Google Play rankings. Some of this stuff you can see on the App Store and on Google Play. But they have these useful tools here like app intelligence. So you can go through and you know basically you link an app to you know to the sensors. Like right now I'm uh, in Mandarin uh, Mandarin Chinese bubble bath, right? So I can see how it compares to other apps. So I could go in here and see a profile of the app. Uh, you know, breakdown by day, the screenshots, uh, all this kind of stuff. I can see, you know, if I link it with my Google Play account, I can see, you know, sales metrics. Uh, but they also have this um, app store optimization. And this is really useful for keyword research. So what you could do is you could do like, you could, and again, this is one of these things where it's, I always click on the wrong thing and I always do the wrong thing. But if I go into keyword rankings, I can see how my app ranks for certain keywords. Right, and uh, usually, you know, no matter you know how much money I'm paying, it's one of these tools where it's like LinkedIn. Every time, every time I do something, it's like, oh, you're not in the right tier. And I was like, well, you know, it's just what I have you. So you can track competitors. The nice thing is you can see what competitors have, and so like if you're, if there's an app that you want to do better than, you can see what keywords are they're they're, um, they're ranking for, and you can try to rank for those those same keywords. So uh, you go into keyword research here. Uh, let's say if I yeah, no, keyword suggestions, it's not keyword research. So let's say I go into keyword suggestions, I type in my main C keywords, I say suggest keywords, and it will give me potential you know, keywords to do, but because I haven't upgraded, I'll do that. So 
it's a tool that you should try, right? You should, you know, see whether or not it works for you. Now, I found it when I was using it before, and this it's been a couple of years since I've used it, to be honest. I found that it worked a lot better for iOS than it did for um, for Google Play. Uh, and, you know, a lot of the things that they would suggest you have to understand that they don't, they can't know what the keywords are the, the specified keywords are on other iOS apps be, unless you know they have access to those accounts but there's no open API at least none that I've been able to find that you can get that kind of information so they have to be able to assess that based on the 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 page themselves right and you know I would go through this, but I'm not an expert in this every time I've tried to find tutorials on sensor tower they've either been out of date or you know just kind of just all over the place so so I'm j I guess I'm just not a fan and you know if you use sensor tower all the time please put it in the comments say Eric you idiot you know I use this all the time my li it made my life better you know my apps are doing so much better and all that kind of stuff because I'd, I'd really like to know another one is mobile action which you know I like mobile action more than I like sensor tower so I've been in mobile action and I you know I've, I've had the, the paid account and everything like that and I after a month, I hardly used it, and I hardly got any value out of it. So I, so I told them I want to cancel because I have no idea what this is. I found a bunch of tutorials; they're really out of date. And to be fair, you know, they got in touch with me and they gave me a tour of it. And the, the guy spent half an hour walking through how I how to use everything. And it was it was a lot you know, more useful. You know, you think, okay, okay, I can see see how that would would work and everything. But in the end, since I don't have time to sit every day and, and look at at these kind of tools for the for the price that they are and mobile action doesn't cost as much as sensor tower so I go to sensor tower and then I go into uh, let's go to upgrade it was say you know the is eighty dollars a month for five apps tracked uh, or twenty apps tracked uh, if you have you know four hundred dollars a month and again I remember complaining to them about the price a few years ago and they said, well, a lot of our clients, you know, they, they find that they make a thousand dollars more a month, you know, just by having these tools and being able to use these tools and which might be true, but I just, I just never found that to be the case. If, if I did find it to be the case, then Hey, I would, I would pay it. Right. It's, it's, it's worth it. Mobile action is again, really, really good. I mean, it's, it's good, but I also find it confusing, right? So this is the you know the free tier. You get five keywords that you could track, you know, and then you got a seventy, and then you get one sixty eight, and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's much better pricing. But you know, and you know, you've got all these tools here, like you know, keyword tracking, keyword suggestions, same kind of stuff. So when we talk about doing keyword research, this is a tool that you could do with that. So let's say if I go in here and I type, um, I want to, I can compare it against a, a competitor, and all this kind of stuff, and it's just. Maybe it's just I don't spend enough time getting to, to know these tools. Like every time I try to use it, everything seems to be all over the place. And I feel like I'm, I use this term a lot. I feel like I'm trying to run with my shoes tied together. Like it just, I just, you know, I just can't get it. I just can't get it to work properly. So when it comes to sensor tower or mobile action, I think if you have one application and you, one or two or five applications, right? And you, you take the time to learn these tools, you might be able to get a lot of use out of them. But I found, I found documentation to be lacking and I found, you know, tutorials and stuff to be lacking. So in the end, I just sort of gave up on both of them. I mean, it was, it was this, you know, it was like, you know, a hundred plus dollars going out of my account every month. And I wasn't even, I didn't even have time to use these. So that's, you know, that's the way I think of it. Now, App Annie, on the other hand, App Annie, I use all the time, right? And I only use the free tier because App Annie is another one of these ones where in the free tier, they give you loads. I mean, you could do so much with the free tier and then, you know, they won't advertise the, the paid tier, but you, if, if you use it, you'll get contacted by App Annie and they'll, they'll walk through, you know, all the cool stuff you could do with their paid tier, but it's like really expensive. Way, like, I think they said at the time they were saying it was a, the, they had an indie plan where you could get like one category. You could see the stats on one category for $700 a month, right? And I think, and I think it went up after that. So it's, you know, but again, if you, if you can make the money from it, then it will definitely be worth it. But it's something I haven't explored. But one thing I do use all the time is the ASO tools on here on the free tier. So if I go into, say, um, it's going to learn Swahili Bubble Bath, which is one of my games, right? Uh, you know, you've got all the stuff, all the stuff that's um, 
available on the app stores and everything. Uh, you got these ones, of, you know, revenue and everything, daily ranks, really interesting stuff here. So if you want to see how you're ranking in each of the categories and the different markets, really, really useful. I think I've done a video on this before, but my favorite one is down here is ASO. It's keywords ASO, which is a lot what the sensor tower and mobile action does. I mean, they do a lot more than that, but this was the one thing I was using those for. So I found I could do that for free in the on App Annie. So here I can see, you know, what keywords I'm ranking for. If I want to type in another um, another keyword, I could just do, you know, Swahili words and add that in. All right, and I can see how I'm, I'm ranking for that one. Swahili words. And it's while it's loading, while it's loading, you can also see you know, how you're tracking over time. So, you know, if you make a change to your app and you want to just you know, put a change in the title, you can wait a few days and check it on, on App Annie. I think it's, it's probably, you know, it's one of these things where if they, ha if they charge for this, I would pay for it. I use it that much. And I find it to be, be much, much more useful in everything. That's going to take too long to load. So anyway, App Annie, you know, if you're going to use anything, I mean, if, if you can't afford the other tools, at least use App Annie and set up an account there. You can look at other apps too. So if you have competitor apps, you can see what keywords they're ranking for as far as App Annie is concerned. Right? There's this other tool, this open source. So when I started looking at these, I started thinking, well, if I had like five apps and you know, and I had the time, I would spend time learning Sensor Tower, I would have time learning mobile action, you know, it's how, you know, all that kind of stuff because I'm just focused on those apps. Because I have so many that's really expensive and I, I wanted to find ways to automate that. And I thought, well, surely they're, they're accessing some sort of APIs on Google Play and on iTunes and, all, and stuff like that. And when I, when I actually looked into it, there were no APIs like that. And some people were saying what they have is, what they're doing is they're web scraping. So I started looking around and then found this tool over here on, uh, on GitHub, which is by uh, Faku, sorry, let me just say, Fasundo Olanu, this guy here, he's, he's created an ASO tool here. So basically what he's done is he's created two different libraries uh, for scraping uh, Google Play and iTunes, which is, I was looking at it, I was like, wow, this, I mean, it's really, really good. And then he brought the both of them together and put together this ASO library. So if you see here, um, if you see here, he's got like a, you know, how to install, and this is for those of you who are Node.js guys, or you're like me, and you just, you type up a bit of code. There's other libraries for like, like Ruby and Java and everything like that, but this is one that, that we've been playing around with. So you can do stuff like, um, you know, include the Google Play or the ASO, and then, uh, you know, put in keywords in the, um, in the code, and you get back, you know, the different scores and counts and everything. Now, I don't know how this compares to Sensor Tower and Mobile Action, but it is really good information to get back. And, and we, are actually, we are actually working on something with this library. I think it's so good that we were probably, well, actually, our developer Calvin is working on an interface to it, uh, for those of you who are not Node.js people, and we, we'll probably just, what we're planning on doing is putting it on our website for our clients, but we'll probably just make it freely available because this library is freely available and it's, and it's really good if you haven't had to play around with it. But you can do stuff like keyword suggestions, look at comp competitors' keywords and stuff like that, and it just uses the, you know, it just scrapes the web pages and, do, and does stuff like that. And one thing it doesn't do is track it over time. Uh, like if you had a keyword, you want to see how your app tracks in that keyword over time because it just doesn't have that. But you could go into sensor, you can go into App Annie and do that. So anyway, so those are just some of the tools that we've used. Um, again, like I said, the, the as far as I'm concerned, the industry standards are Sensor Tower and Mobile Action. People love them. I just don't happen to be one of those people, but that doesn't mean that that just means maybe I don't understand it well enough. I haven't spent the time learning these tools, and every time I do, I get frustrated by the bad interfaces. So, anyway, just giving you my opinion. <laughs> that, that's it for that's it for today. I will talk to you guys on Monday.